It's a given. The jobs of the future will require more education, especially for 21st century students, the new majority of students across the country. That the 21st century students, they are in fact the critical element. They are low income and they are first generation and they are students of color and they are adults. The Center for Education and the Workforce at Georgetown University estimates two-thirds of all jobs will require some higher education degree or certificate by 2018. To get from here to there will require that more of these 21st century students, first generation, adult learners, part-time students, minorities, veterans, get degrees. The real heroes in the American system more and more are the young people without resources who work and go to school at the same time. I've already worked too hard to give it up right now. I'm tired all the time. <laughs> Most of the time, all the time. I'm trying to get a second job. Uh, just so I can have uh, a little more of a, um, of a cushion. I can't say it's tenacity as it was. I was, I was mad. You know? uh, the electroengineering degree, that was for me. That was personal. The determination, creativity, and sacrifices of these 21st century students are impressive. But the value of a degree, the return on investment, is clear. When you add up that return over 45 years, it's a lot of money. For a BA, it's well over a million dollars. In the end, nine times out of ten, the earnings increases you get will easily pay for the uh, college education you buy.